So these are the tools of the trade for the National Marine Debris Project. You need something to measure things with. This is a tape measure. If you don't have a tape measure, take a piece of string and mark it off in intervals. That's perfectly fine. It's good to have a stake to mark off the ends of the transects. If you don't have a stake, just find a stick on the beach. You can use that just as well. I need to know where I am, so I need a compass. A lot of you may have phones that have a compass on it if you don't have one in, in your school or in your classroom. It's good to have a pair of gloves in case you come across something that you just don't want to pick up with your hands. We always carry gloves with us. I need to know which direction the wind's blowing so I can bring a stick or something like this or when I go to the beach, I can toss up some sand to see which direction the wind is blowing. You need a clipboard. You'll download the data sheets from our website that you're going to be using. Don't forget something to write with. You'll want a sheet like this. We have it on the back of the data sheet, and this is to record the sizes of the debris items that we find on our beaches. You want a bag to put your rubbish in. We'll provide these for you. We want something else to measure with so that we know how wide a meter is if we're doing a transect. We don't need that if you're doing the EMU Parade Survey. These are the tools of the trade. We have two main survey methodologies. The first one we call the EMU Parade or EMU Bob. The other is a strict transect. For the EMU Parade, you're going to line up all of you guys in a line, shoulder to shoulder, and you're going to be walking up and down the beach together, picking up all those bits of rubbish that you see. You're going to record where you are. You're going to record how big an area you're doing. Most of you guys will do an EMU survey that's about 30 to 50 meters wide. Either one of those lengths is fine, and you're going to go from the beach, from right down at the water's edge, on up two meters into the vegetation. Again, you're gonna walk as a group, all of you kids shoulder to shoulder. You're all gonna stay as a group. When you get to the end, you're gonna turn around. You're gonna drag your feet in the sand so that I can see the lines where I've already walked. So when you get down to the beach, the first thing you're gonna do when you're carrying out your transects is you're gonna walk 50 meters or more from that beach access point. And that's really important because people tend to hang out right at that easy, close place. So we want to walk a little bit further away from there. Then you're going to have two people take the tape measure or the measuring piece of string that you've got. One person goes down to the beach edge and holds the end of that tape measure. The other person walks up two meters into the vegetation. That's a job for those two people. Now you've got a data recorder that's going to be along with you to record all the information. And they're going to make sure that you guys don't go too fast. Then I want you to have two people on either side of the transect. You're gonna stand shoulder to shoulder so that you're about a meter in total apart because our transect lengths are two meters wide. And you're gonna have two people on one side of the transect, two people on the other side. And that's really important because then we need to know how long's my transect and how wide is my transect and who are the people that are actually collecting the data? Who are those people that are looking down on the beach to see what kind of rubbish we find? We're going to bring all those pieces of rubbish that we see, that we find in that area. We're going to bring those back to the classroom. When we get back to the classroom, we're going to record a bunch of information on our data sheets, looking at the size, the types, the colors, all the different items that we find on the beach. Now, one of the things that's really hard to remember is we all want to cheat because we want to find as much of that rubbish as we can. But don't dig down into the sand. No crawling on your hands and knees, no leaning over. You got to stand upright. Look and you see all the bits of plastic, all the cans and bottles and metal and lids, all the things that you find from standing up. Don't dig through the sand. 